This is Twit. Well, let's see here. Before we go to the break, I wanted to wanted to call out real quick. You also wrote one of your um, ten or twelve articles that we'll talk about tonight. <laughs> um, you wrote an article that that caught my eye, and and I enjoyed reading it because, it, like, I've you know I've I've heard people complaining about customizability in Android twelve, mm-hmm. which which is is kind of one of one of the things that Google has really sold people on is like hey this is material you you know the 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 Android 12 experience is all about you and 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 um and yet a lot of people have complained about the fact that like well wait a minute Android 12 is actually less like yeah. um you know nuts and bolts customizable by me like yeah sure you've got this this automatic material you thing happening but i actually have less capability of control over the standard launcher and, and that sort of stuff and you seems like you kind of had this experience you you wrote a little bit about switching back to third party launchers and icon packs <laughs> tell us a little bit about that experience yeah i mean i i don't I think I I had a pretty standard Android enthusiast experience, which is, you know, I got my first Android phone in 2011 and and spent the first four or five years or so, like, constantly, you know, theming uh, things or eventually, like, diving into, like, uh, uh, installing ROMs or whatever, right? Like, I I have a distinct memory of uh, at at 2 a.m., one summer, like, like in in my freshman year of college, maybe, rooting my uh or rooting and then installing a rom on my lg g2 bricking it uh and then uh getting it un unbricked at like five in the morning <laughs> like that was my oh, night my <laughs> um right <laughs> so like like stuff like that right and it's like um you know as as i like i got out of college and and um uh you know started like having a job and and responsibilities and i you know didn't have the time to stay up until 5 a.m. rooting my phone. It's like, okay, well, like, I'm just going to make whatever is, like, there on the phone work for me. And so even eventually, like, it's like, okay, I'm done with, like, third-party launchers. Like, Google's launcher is fine. Or or when I had uh, my last non-Pixel phone was an S7, even that was like, okay, Samsung's launcher is good enough at this point. It's fine. Um, you know, just just kind of moving past it. And, and with Material U, it's, like, frustrating because it's, like, okay, like you did a lot of cool stuff with like customizability here and like like making it like really almost feel unique. And if you watch their ads, it's like all about like, oh, it, it's going to just look exactly how you want it to look. And it's like, but then you use it and you install like, or you put one non-Google app on your home screen yeah, and it, right. completely breaks, <laughs> it completely breaks the theme. And it's like, well, no, this looks terrible now. And if you dive into the settings, like the some of the customizability stuff, like like the font settings in, in Android 11 are not there anymore in Android 12. Like they got rid of them mm-hmm. in exchange for mm-hmm. uh, for for dynamic theming, and and that's you know a sacrifice that they probably didn't have to make, but they did make it. Um, and it, it's frustrating. And and to me, it was like, okay, well, like, is there an option for me to like? You know, because I, I don't hate the look of Material U of Android 12, and and so it was like, okay, well, is there a way for me to like essentially get this look, but for all of my apps? And the answer was like, yeah, there's like a, a dozen uh, Material U inspired uh, icon packs on the App Store or on the Play Store, uh, and then it's like, okay, well, I'll uh, install one of those, but I need a third party launcher, so I guess I'll just go back to Nova because that's what I always used to use. And then it was like, oh, I guess I'm just falling down a rabbit hole back into my my old habits. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah i mean i mean and it was it's just interesting to see how like you know that that in me that that like customizability thing in me was dead right like like to me like now a phone is is more of a utility than a toy that yeah. it was like 10 years ago totally and then they agree. they like put in this like thing that's supposed to be like look we'll we'll theme it for you isn't this fun we'll we'll do all the work for you and it was like nah it's got it's not good enough like i i need to do it now <laughs> you guys like <laughs> you're going to give like, me a little bit halfway. i need to take it yeah. the whole way yeah exactly <laughs> yeah 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 totally so it's it's just it's it's really funny how like google trying to like you know essentially uh make it happen for people like push me back so well, be careful because it might push you back into rooting and roming your phones again. Oh and, man, and... I don't have that time. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Totally. I 
No. Just when you, just when you thought you were out, Google pulled you back in. <laughs> you pulled you back in. You oh back boy, in. the the amount of time I wasted rooting and oh, roaming uh, on a nightly basis at one point. It was, it was. I was addicted. I was like, yeah, it's new fun. experience. It was fun. It's it was a good, different. especially like 20, 2012, 2013 was like yeah. you know spending mm-hmm. all, spending like hours on on XDA's forums and just like totally. Yeah, it was it was a fun time. You know, 